Bag fuel, baby. Ooh, bag fuel. Oh, back in live effect. We starting this right, you know, with the champagne. Don't say what kind it is because they're not paying us. No, it's, and, it's, and they won't pay us. I already told you. Yeah, we know, but um, we have to toast for multiple reasons. Oh, okay. One, you are the architect and responsible for bringing two icons together. What a magical moment where you brought Clue and Flex together. How You're one man. of the dudes. You're one of the main dudes. How did I bring them together? Uh, yeah, you made the deal happen. You made the event. You're one of the responsible individuals. I, I know you don't like taking credit all the time. Allow me to do it. I didn't make the deal happen. That was just one of the pieces the guy, of the puzzles. One of the pieces of the puzzles. I appreciate when he's modest, but you know, I got to be the arrogance behind this because usually he be talking, you love him. Right now, you know, so that was a magical moment that you helped usher in, help expedite. There was multiple other individuals involved. I Let's mean, yeah, they, pe people have, have sat down and talked. But, but the only thing that I ever said to Flex, and I, and I know what you're talking about because mm -hmm. you were standing there, and all, all I said was, yeah, he said, I got one favor. Oh, um, yeah. They, and he, we calling that favor me. in? Nah, nah, this was it. This is probably why I didn't get the other favor. Because he said, yo, I, I got one thing that he'll do for me, whatever it is. It don't matter. And I said, I just want peace between him and Clue. Yeah. That's it. And the fruits of the labor has been right there. A lot. NYC is like almost in shock because, you know, for so many years, people felt the, you know, the rivalry between both individuals. Yeah, but, but people got to understand mm -hmm. these people know each other. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we know that. It's more magnified by the people that's outside of things, but these people know each other. Like, these two people are legends mm -hmm. on their own. Like, if I didn't know them, I probably would be freer with talking about them and more, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's part I of actually, the game. I actually know them. One of them is one of my best friends, so I, I really don't want to talk about it. But I'm, I'm just glad that... It's harmonious with them right now, and they're gonna DJ a joint tomorrow. I'm gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's gonna be a good thing. And uh, yeah, like, cause you know, a couple of people heard about it, and they're like, "Huh? It's really happening?" Like, yeah. See, I told you. They said that to me too. <laughs> See, this yeah, is why I said it's happening. This is a monumental moment, you know, expedited and curated by the ESSO. With the dollar signs on one of the messes. Are you going to ever make both S dollar signs? I mean, a dude met me last <laughs> night at, at the radio station, and he's at a and r He's pretty big right now. Pause. You know what I'm saying? He was like, he, mm -hmm. he, he's a fan of mine, and when he saved my number, he was basically like, yo, I'm going to let you see the, how, how much I really rock with you and I know about you. He said, when I save your name, I'm not going to put S's. I'm going to put the dollar signs in it. Mm -hmm. And we was like, oh, all right. I was like, he, he, he really paid attention to me. You know what I'm saying? And also, too, you know, within the past, what, couple of weeks, collectively, we've been on Atlanta radio, Philly radio and New York radio. Let's toast to that. Yeah, New York radio twice. Yes, you know New York radio twice. Yeah, word up. Shout out, mm -hmm. shout out to DJ Clue. Shout out to Thea. Shout out to Cosmic Kev, one of the biggest supporters that I had. And shout out to DJ Greg Street, another one of the biggest supporters that I have. And shout out to 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 Sway reaching out to us. All legendary people. Yeah. We turn down that. We turn up on that Philly radio. We we, we you know. Kev 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 lets us cut loose on, on Philly radio. And how, how was the um, New York experience? You know, we don't get to talk about ourselves with these accomplishments. <laughs> the the New York thing was good because it, it it was kind of different. You know what I'm saying? We're used to just jumping on radio and just talking. But when Clue brought me in, he did um he had segments with um Sleazy World. Sleazy world, yeah. young young dude that's really he got, he got, he charting got, crazy. Yo, he got two hundred fifteen million views on one video, and he's like top fifty global around the country. And I'm like, yo, he's actually cool. Hey, yo, he got some records because they played like two more joints last night, and they was yo, they fire. I'm not gonna cap. You seem you know extremely saying? impressed with the young man. Um, what I was extremely impressed with was his team. His team was cool. They was thorough. They were welcoming. They they followed me. They all knew about me. 
You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it it's it's kind of different when people come in and they come in and see DJ Clue and then they see me sitting there too and they like, well, we Whoa. know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like it's a, it, it, it's a, like it, it's a euphoria. I, yeah, it's type, just, type of thing when when people see me with him and they don't know I'm supposed to be there. It's interesting all the places we go. Who runs up to who? Like one person ran up on Space Ghost. Like yo, yeah. Ghost, and he's like, you know, Ghost rolling his eyes, looking up, like mm, like he's doing right now. Yeah. You didn't do that, Ghost. I don't know why. Don't run up on me. Just, <laughs> why? Like you're like six four, bro. Yeah, but the way people <laughs> run up sometimes, it's like, yo, bro, like chill. Uh, so I got okay. you. I'm the only one. I be comfortable with yeah, it. Everybody be wild, and my my wife be looking at me, and I be like, I'm cool with it. Han be looking at me sometimes. I be like, I don't like yeah, yo, yo, but like I, I expect it, it. I don't like when people run up and it's like a sneak attack. Like mm. it's like, yo, space goes what? Like, t- like like don't <laughs> sneak up on me and try to like. like I feel like I'm punching my. They don't know how to approach you though, go. Yeah, cause nah, just be just yo, what up, whatever. I tell them the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I gotta ask people, like, they'll be sitting there, I'll be like, do you wanna take a picture? And they'd be like, Yeah, 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 do you mind? I'd be like, why would I mind? I'm always in shock when somebody know me though. Me too. Like, no, I'm not. It's not a time. Me, see, no, me I'm too. Not. <laughs> I, me too, go. No, I'm not. I'm always in no, shock. No, I'm not. Bro. I mean, a bad month for us. All right, let's 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 be fair with this. A bad month collectively is about two million views combined on all everything. That's just a bad. I don't know. I don't count views. No, I'm just saying collectively with social media from TikTok, YouTube, all of that. That's just a bad month. Now, is that all of where we live at? Of course not. But we are landing in a lot of people's um, framework and psyche a lot. I mean, you can't count the views on how much we get reposted. You can't count that, the views. Yeah, that's why I said a bad how, how month. people post us and don't tag us. Yeah, we didn't went viral on Twitter for a week and we was we in didn't Pittsburgh even know. and we didn't know. So it's hard to magnify. We're blessed that we're on a lot of people's pages right now. That's one great thing that people feel comfortable with posting us on their page. Which is a blessing. And I'm thankful for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, because I remember you and I used to go back and forth about that when we first started this journey. Like, yo, Hein, how are we going to get our, our energy and vibe out? And I'm like, yo, S, trust me, the way you speak and the way I'm coming across, people going to repost us. Here he go. Like, here he go. Yo, here, yo. He thinks this it's dude, magic. Yo, yo, he think it's just content and we're going to talk. He he fails to, real, he fails to realize I'm outside, B. Yes. I'm actually I'm actually touching the people. I'm traveling. I'm on radio. I'm mixing and merging with people who don't even think that I, I I personally would know them. I'm spending for dinners. Yeah. I'm doing promo. It's just not because I'm, I'm talking not saying, well and people are just I mean, not reposting me. I like, mean, just off that one clip, you had, unbeknownst <laughs> to you, almost a quarter of a million people repost based on the fact of you explaining how men view women without makeup. These are not... You did not go out to eat with a quarter of a million people. Now, out of that quarter of a million, based on your activity, I could say you took a thousand of them out to eat. <laughs> but that's think, one. But pose. you think people are reacting to the conversation? You you making it? You internalizing it? And what, people what aren't re- reacting to you, and they probably won't even follow you. Mm-hmm. They're reacting to the conversation and what's going on. And it's yes. con- it's the content. But to, for somebody to take the extra step to follow you, that means they fuck with you. I so agree. It takes, yeah, but you saying out of a million, ten percent of that. That's who. That's who fuck with you. Yeah. No, I no, I never disputed that. Where I'm coming from is the people, the visibility, and why people are seeing. And they're like, "Yo, you look ninety five percent. You look like the way you look." Mm-hmm. The only complaints people ever have about is they expect us to be taller. I'm five ten. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he, but remember I'm five when ten. I, but when, it. Remember when I first said people are gonna say we look different? It's like Esso's like, "Yo, Hein." Where do you get this dumbass assumption but from? But people don't say, I don't feel like the people think that we look different. Not All completely. Right? But people don't think that we look different. A lot of people notice me. They like, they don't, I, I feel the like hair is magical. it's enhanced. I think that I actually, most people look better on camera. I look better in person. I'm I, not like, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not a photogenic person. You know what I'm saying? So people Coming from see, the model nigga. People see me. Respect to you. <laughs> people see me in, in person and be like, wow, you look younger. You look better. You look this. Mm-hmm. You look that. So I, I, I think it's that shock value. But what I will acknowledge is that content and reposting is the best way 
to promote yourself to other people. For free. Uh, to other people and other brands. That's why people making it very hard to press even that repost button. Because everything that they do now is valuable. Even if they have 220 followers, if they press that repost button now, you have potential to have 221 followers. Now, look, look at you. Some might go back and repost you and send you mm -hmm. out to now 5,000 more, more followers. So the repost game and timeline posting game is the biggest way to get your vibe out there. But it's also hard. People mm -hmm. really got to dig you and really trust that what you're saying is real to even put you on their timeline to brand and market yourself to their people that's all that's that's watching them already. I totally you mean collabs. Like collabs is very big right now. What you mean mm -hmm. in collabs? Like when you collaborate post on something. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's a new thing that's that's very big right now. But a lot of people don't even know how to use it. Yeah. Like I just taught niggas yesterday how to use the shit. They really? took, but here's the thing, they took my collab away. After the biggest video we had where we're almost at 4 million, I can no longer collab with any um, platform or individual. I don't know if they're doing some beta testing. Just like Esso doesn't get the real. I can't time it. I, yes. I, I don't get the yeah, real money. I don't know what's up. With I don't that. got the mm -hmm. timer, like set the timer. But I didn't mean to cut you off, Ghost. The collaboration on Instagram, you were saying it's, it, it's, it's worth it. Of course. Like, a repost is still crazy, but when you collab, it's it dumb. It's even more. It, it just shoots up. But, but you can't collab a lot because yeah. when you collab a lot with the same people or the same page or whatever, it don't run the same. They start to slow you down. They're like, yeah. oh, they're cheating. But I don't think you should be collabing the same page all the time. Yeah, I mean, I don't you like to You should be collab collabing with, the, with somebody else. Mm. Like brand, that, that's really what the collab is for. Brands brand, and cross branding and other things like that. Mm. Nah, the cross branding and the cross marketing is just a unstoppable machine when done accurately and correctly. You know what I mean? Like when that brand has the right caption, like think about it. We've had artists that didn't collab with certain things and we still did a million views, 300,000 and they're coming back to us. Like, like, like on some real shit, I can say like, um, we did the eight bar clip. We, we, we did it with a Cassidy and we sent a collaboration to Cass and he must've had a collaboration with somebody else. So he didn't accept the one that we had. Got you. So the one that we had is at a half a million right now, and it's still cooking. Yeah, but it, you know, it's still there. Like they can still collapse. Press later. the button unless so you it, take it, it away. Would, it, but they probably didn't even see it. He probably didn't see it. And then if yeah. he collabs later, it goes back to the time from mm -hmm. when we yeah. collabed with him. It so gets it's not pushed down. Go, yep. Yeah, it's not going to be first. So it's like once they don't collab and they post on top of it, I feel like it's irrelevant at that time. I thought, but once it collabs, it goes on their timeline. Yeah, yeah but so it, goes it's a brand, down, it goes down to when we did it. All the time. But what Ghost yeah. is saying, though, when he presses that button, though, it's still brand on the timeline, it yeah, comes it out. Comes. So it's a catch-22. It if he did it, it still would be good for us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One thing you mentioned um, with Sleazy World, you were impressed by his team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody had hit me. Um, this is a two-part thing. What does it take to build up your network? But now it's also, what do you look for in a team now? I, I think what you... No, 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 go ahead, finish, I'm sorry. Um, people are very introvert. They don't know how to have the art of a conversation. They, they'll, they'll say some wacky shit to somebody, and some people can get away with it, some can't. Y'all both looked at me crazy when we was at the um, Jada Kiss event when I was talking to a couple of people. You're like, this guy is nuts. It he works. Look at you like you was nuts. Talking about? I don't even know what he's talking about. Well, here, yeah, when talking I was talking about? to the um young lady, Viking. Yes, y'all looked oh, at me no. crazy. No, you yeah, you said, said. I didn't look at you crazy for talking. It, 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 was, it was what funny. you said. Yeah, oh, okay. it was funny. It wasn't it was like, what you said. Yeah. Nah, because you know it, what? because it was funny because what he's leaving out, y'all, is <laughs> she came up to him and was giving him like mad flavor, like yo. He was giving him different not yo, business vibe. Yeah. No, she was, was giving him different vibe. type of flavor. I, I'm aware. Yeah, listen, it, it was a white girl that was that was foreign, and she was giving him vibes, right? right like this shit. So, <laughs> come on, stop. What? It. Yo, hi, Clyde, Come yo, on, hi. stop it. You was you was in Atlanta with me, and you saw what happened. Come on, hi. yo. Come on, yo. Listen, <laughs> let me tell my story, which without your ad libs and regular shit. What is he talking about, B? I'll be with you. Stop. <laughs> the dude, the girl was giving him vibes, vibes. Yes, okay? regular. And the, 
whatever. No. He's and the mayor of South by Southwest. No, South he's the mayor of South by Southwest. Ah! He is. So he, she was giving him straight, straight, straight vibes, vibes. Like, 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 what, like, what's up? Where you going? She was giving him vibes, right? And he act like he, 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 he really didn't like her. She spins off, right? This yeah. is the shit that changes. She spins off, y'all, mm-hmm. and she comes back. Mm-hmm. And while we standing at the bar, goes right past me. Goes right past Ghost and gives him the same vibes again. Man, give so me the much, contact. Yo, yeah, so much, t- yeah. Yo, she Business. gave him so much vibes in his face, y'all, that her people had to call and be like, yo, it's time to go, boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. And me and Ghost is looking like, yo, what's up? Like, you ain't going to give the dick. He just look like, yo, that's regular shit. I, I got her number. He said, yo, like, DM yeah. me, codename Viking. Yo, yo, I said, yo, Viking. What are you talking about, bro? Viking. This is what I do. Viking. What are you talking yep. about? Yep. Y'all leaving out a couple of parts, but you know, I didn't just come up with because that Viking. Because she said she was from a land yeah, of the she Vikings. Was foreign yeah. and she was exactly. foreign and she acknowledged she was from we the land it. of it the Vikings. It was just Vikings. funny at the time. Oh, yeah, what the I don't fuck? What, what black dude has rap talk about code name when you see me mm-hmm. in the DM code name Viking? Yeah. That's how, when we walked into that event, them two girls that walked by, it was the same thing. This is going to be your code word when I hit you. It's going to be your code word, and we all been communicating That's since. This way, dude, no. this dude, this Ghost. Yeah. When we was in Atlanta. And when we say he be on some weird shit, he nah, like, what are you talking about? Nah, never. Everybody got a code name in the DM. Yeah. What are you talking about? Your name is Heineken. How yeah. do you keep up with the code names? It's easy. That's how my mind works. That's <laughs> <the fucking thing. laughs> Listen, Esso can keep wild. up with numbers and schedules and, and mathematical equations in a way. It, yo, his pops was like, yo, I don't fuck with this kid. He has a computer in his brain. I'd be like, how you keep up with this number, this percentile? Yo, he be forgetting. Nah, nah, right bro. Down. If if I'm I be reminding him of shit. If I'm gonna take a gambling <laughs> bet, it's 985 percent. He gonna get them numbers right. No, it's like eighty percent. He be forgetting shit, bro. I'll be forgetting shit now because I'm, I'm way. If busy. we go to Vegas, it's a lot of shit going oh, on. I think I think that ratio was great. Eighty yeah. percent as busy as, as we are right now. Yeah. I need help. I, I do. I do need. Like we forgot about Sway, and we ran into Sway, and I was like, I, was like, I, oh, I, shit. I technically yeah, didn't forget to... about Sway. Let me say, it. I didn't want to bug Sway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't forget about you, Sway. You know, I didn't want to bug you because I already hit you like two, three times. Like, yo, can I come to the show? What's up? You promised me, and all that. Yo, turn of the year, ass. I got you. I so, got you. So yeah. I didn't want to bug Sway. It's like that. Like, like that. I don't want to bug that. You know what I'm saying? So I, yeah. I just let him go. But this when, is an art form to speaking with people of a higher standard and caliber. But when Ghost said he saw him, I said, tell him I said what, what up. up? <laughs> That's it. So That's you know, I, I know I'm on top of it because with people in this game, they get busy too. Yeah. So when they promise to do something, this is something that you got to say, this is a big jewel. Don't take none of this personal. Mm-hmm. People really be busy. It's not no fake thing going on. People really got family things going on, health things going on, other work things, friends that they promise things to, things that they getting paid for, things that they're not getting paid for that oh, they promise and people. And you still you know got to put the work in. And, 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 and they still want to look out for you, but sometimes you just get lost within the sauce. I've been privy to be next to people, and Clue is a busy man, and I still got to be on his neck, pause, about doing things mm-hmm. that I need him to do to push us forward. So knowing how to be diligent is important, but do it in a way where you're not bugging people. You got to know sometimes they don't they just don't want to tell you no. Yeah. Don't and, ruin a relationship for that. And I think um I, it's really impossible to be great on just 8 hours a day cuz you know that's the normal work day. You know, and people just feel like I can accomplish greatness with eight hours a day. That's why, you know, when I said 60 hours a day, and then that look, because Esso did the computer, like, you mean a week? And everybody went crazy for that. <laughs> Everybody still like 60 hours a day. Like, what is he talking about? But, but that's what it, yo. But, but I, I think what I grasped from it when you said that was mm-hmm. combined. Right? If, if if Ghost is working 14 joints a day and you're working 14 joints and I'm working 14 joints, collectively what we're working for for this shit is 42 joints a day. Mm-hmm. And I, and Give I, or take. That's, and, and that's minimum. No, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. because I, I, I didn't sleep last night and I'm up smoking. Like, I do a lot of thinking. And what time did you call me? I texted him at like 5.50 in the morning. Yo, like, we, you up? <laughs> yeah. 
I didn't really sleep last night either. And I, I called really to talk good. about work. Like, yo, this is what Think about, this think what about I'm our thinking. work. My, my wife woke up like, yo, you, I'm, I'm in the bathroom smoking, talking to him about what we need to be doing better. I, I'll just randomly text, go, ghost get on my nerves, though. I'm not even going to cap. <laughs> yeah, but. Because <laughs> he's so nice. Like, like, he's getting on my nerves. I, I'll be zoning about something. I'll be calling me back. No, like, hey, yeah. no, he. Yeah. Oh, it's not just me, but. Like, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I've been yeah. through that. I've so why the hell you ain't tell yeah, me? Yeah, like, I don't have to think about this. Y'all, but y'all overly think about the shit. Yes. There was a there's a dude and I'm like, yo, you gotta are we gonna post him? We're not gonna post him. What's it? I was like, what do you wanna do? S? Just tell me what you wanna do, it's gonna get done. But there ain't, but sometimes <laughs> it's I real, don't know. Like, mm. sometimes real talk. I'm just in in manager mode still because we don't have nobody manager that's gonna currently do, that that's gonna do business for us. So I'm trying to manage it by saying I'm looking for your direction and I'm really asking because if you say yeah I'm gonna drop it I think it's quality like we just talked about something and we said let's cut it right here and goes like no no it don't sound good after he says no. I'm not gonna come back and say, "Yo, drop it." I'm taking your guidance. We from can that. drop it if you want, though. No, but I, I, there is no <laughs> one. I, I want to do. I want to do what's best collectively for us. Yeah. That's just who I am. That's what I've seen work with people. That's what's been working with us. I don't even know how that happened. That's what's working with us, and I'm just, I just stick to the plan. That's not my. Can we fault go back plan. to what builds the team? Like, will you? Say yes, yes. I, I've always felt like, and Danny Sue said this when we interviewed him, you got to have different, you got to have people that do different things that you're not willing to do. Like what Ghost is into, what I'm into, and what you're into picks up for what, you know, is needed for success. So um, I've always seen, um, what was it, Andrew Carnegie. He was, a, you know, famous guy, made millions and millions of dollars in the early 1900s, but he was a very laid back guy. He didn't like being mean. He didn't like firing people. So he hired a dude that was mean and aggressive to do the shit because it's needed. You got to fire people. You got to hold people accountable. And there's times. Biggs, Dame Dash. Huh? Dame Dash and Biggs, yes. And so I think building a team, you got to recognize where you're weak at and bring somebody else in to cover that angle to help, you know, build that machine properly. Like, there's things that Esso does, and he'd be like, hi, you gots to do this too. And I'm like, yo, bro, real shit, you just have a natural affinity for it. And we argue, he's like, anybody could do this. I'm like, yo, S, if anybody could do this, there'd be a hundred Essos. Like, stop with this content talk. You know, this is a real conversation, but I'm like, you gotta be able to recognize the special abilities you have within yourself and where you're lacking. And then you cater and build your team around there. Sometimes it happens organically. People will approach but you. But I think you can do the things. If if they're teaching you how to do it, you can pick it up in your own way, you know? Let me tell you what the problem is with that. And Esso and I have struggled with this. Eventually, when you're doing all of that, you lose out on certain things you're good at and something's going to suffer. Nah, bro, so, that sounds negative. No, no, no. no. Listen negative. to what I'm saying. When Esso is in manager mode, Versus being in artist mode or personality mode, there are times... I'm they, an independent artist. Yes. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> don't you feel like sometimes you're like, yo, Hein, I'm not supposed to be managing this because then this might not click. Yeah, I definitely don't like to manage... I mean, that's been my biggest gripe. I, yeah, I called since the y'all, beginning. I called y'all. Before Ghost came I, in. I called y'all with 2023 hit, but right before I said, yo, I'm not going to be managing y'all no more. We yeah. got to figure this shit out figure ourselves. Out. Yes. But as you said, everybody has to have a role. That's uh, not, yeah. currently, that's not going to be possible. Yeah. What, whether, I, whether I want it or not, because certain things have to go. But certain things have to go a certain way. But. The ghost thing, people have to know what they need before they get mm. the team. People always go past the fact of, like, yo, I'm just going to get this dude. Yo, do I, yo, I'm trying to get a go-getter because this guy needs to No, you need to sit down first for real. And when you're adding on to your team, you don't have to add five pieces. It's cool to add one at a time. People want to be like, oh, this guy. They want a whole NBA guy, team. Guy. And when I walk, I'm walking with four or five people. And when I get money, I have my future accountant that's in college that's going to go study. And by the time he's out, he's going to run my money. So I'm bringing him now, too. No. Add on one piece at a time. That's just more, too. 
based upon what you mm. need. If you're a rapper, you know what you first need? Honestly, a producer. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's going to bring you beats, that's going to believe in you, that's going to let you develop your craft. After you develop your craft, then you need somebody that can help manage and get you out to the people that's going to bring you to other people. That, 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 that might not be a manager. That might just be somebody who has great relationships, who knows how, how to make money off of you. It could be a, a freaking promoter that knows people that's going to get points and, and fall back. Then you look for somebody that's going to manage your whole type of situation mm -hmm. and your lawyer. Manager, lawyer can be simultaneous, but you want to get your manager first so they can help you find lawyers and go on meetings to pick your lawyer. You don't just jump on the first lawyer that you see because they're great or they're black or they're white or they're a woman or they're a man. You got to go around and meet four or five lawyers, maybe even ten, and settle on who's comfortable with you and who Producer. believes in you. Lawyer account for, for for an artist manager you have a manager, manager too. too those are, and the fifth one a, a, a content coordinator like where does oh, it I was going to get to that the best important thing somebody who makes you look good I was going to say it don't even got to be it don't even got to be like a big even if it's just your girl who know how to take good pictures, good pictures that's, that's what I was going to say person. that was my final thing that I I, I was going to say in this day and age yeah. if you can get a cameraman somebody that can chronicalize your events and your walk in life pictures video whatever you have to have that that now to be really real if, if, if we really want to talk about it, it jumped over the producer. That's right when you get the producer. Yeah. And, that, and that person. That's right when you get the producer. I, I just want to say that person's going to grow with you too because yeah. I was just with Larry June and the person who does his first video is the person who's doing his video now. And he just stepped up. They both stepped up they, together. It's a natural. Into the platform. Like, and natural. He's comfortable with him shooting his music video because he knows the way he likes to be looked at on video. And also, can we. You're going to shoot my, my first video, Yes. Bro. Can we talk about the elephant in the room, too? Who's that? No. Also, when um people have these um groups, right, they like to keep them at a base level. Because you know what they're uh, what, what groups are you referring to? Like, like whenever they have their team, okay. they, they might not want to put their team in position to grow. So, like, example, there are meetings you're putting in place for ghosts, right, that can help elevate his career. The natural dude is like, yo, I need ghosts right here because he's going to keep put, pumping us. You know that's it, you know that, us. You've seen that for We years. already know ghosts isn't going to be with us forever. No, forever. Everybody. But, but nah, because be we here. understand that. Nah, I'll be here. No, but because we still- He's going to be shooting movies and Yeah, but stuff. we but understand still that. Here, but but uh, ghosts- my, my, my goal is to still be here and do that. Yeah, but ghosts, you understand dudes be like, if he's busy over here, it hurts me. Whereas it we're depends. like, it depends. No, I, in I a don't different, yo, no, go on. Finish, no, 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 finish, go, go. Finish, finish, finish. I'm in, a different, in, in, in a different capacity, you'll still be here because we'll have to learn and say, we're going to go film over here. We're going to get this other guy yeah. and then we'll be able to send it to you to make your job simpler. Yeah. Your job will be yeah. cut in half and you'll be able to do that. That's loyalty. Mm -hmm. That's why he'll still be here. That's why I say no matter where I go, if I go on the model, if I go to do the runway next year, whatever, as long <laughs> as I'm doing bag fuel, it's up. I'm bringing but my think, value but, here. But you're talking about teams. I think that's the most important of the team. If everybody in the team don't want to learn something new and grow, then it's, We're it's not going to work. We're in trouble. You're stacking Because, yeah, because now, look, we need him to do movies, right? This is real shit. Real Move, shit. Movies, videos, whatever. Documentaries, whatever. Sooner or later, he'll have enough power to say, yo, S, do you want to do the voiceovers on this shit? Yeah, That's how I need him to go, yo, Yeah, S, of course. Yo, 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 do you want to come out here? Do you want to cover this shit? Yo, I got a little role in, inside this video. You just going to walk. I got a bag for you. I got I got a new movie that you and Han could smack a nigga up, upside their head. Game over. And, and you know what I'm saying? Pull a ratchet out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or oh, I your, see shit your that people going. do for just cameos and music videos and shit. <laughs> I was like, yo, this shit. You got paid that for what? This for is just what, that? This exactly. Is, this is what I'm saying. So when you got people, you right. The biggest part of a team of extensions, let's look at Jay-Z. Let's just take him for example. Oh, you broke this down privately. Jay-Z, yeah. I, t I tell everybody, people don't understand how Jay-Z is like a relationship genius, <laughs> right? His best friend, Jay Brown, I don't know if they was best friends prior or this became like this, was at was working at a whole nother label working Missy Projects, right? 
Why you think that Jay Jay Z was all all on Missy projects? You one minute you would think man, it would just be mm-hmm. for Missy. Jay Brown is a catalyst to bring that together and make that an ongoing thing. Mm. You know Jay Brown's going to pay you. Now you can have producers. Now my man is over at that label. Now we can get producers on that. Now we can start a publishing company all off of one relationship with Jay Brown and Jay Z. Popping, right? Now you got G. Robeson and you got Hip Hop who now manage Kanye and Nicki Minaj and all the rest of those people. And what? Alchemist. Yeah, and, and they and they are <laughs> affiliated and they are also affiliated with Jay-Z. They yeah. also came from Rockefeller. You got Lenny Yes who came up with the TBT who was one of the first people that understand what the camera and what the digital age. He made that age, golden couch famous. What Let's the digital age. He was on the cutting edge. When I saw Lenny S taking pictures, and I know I'm like, why is he taking pictures? When I he thought it was this, going backwards. Lenny S copied me. That, I, I don't know about that, but... If, and but, Ghost but got the gold mic. He was too. a record executive that was taking pictures, and I didn't get it. Then when I delved I into the Instagram, was, of course honest, you would get it. Me and Virgil, shout out to Virgil, rest in RP. Mm-hmm. Was doing the artsy photo on Instagram. Then Lenny S started doing that. I was like, all right. All right, he I'm got it. It's no, but listen, that's hip hop. That's, that's, what, that's what you do. People see what somebody else is doing, and if they can take it and do it and, and, and do it better because they got a wider range of reach, that's what they're going to do. I mean, yeah. You got to hope that what you're doing is dope can last past that and keep going because they're going to put more spotlight on the shit that you're doing. But Lenny S is another extension of Jay-Z. They're all millionaires. You got Tata, who runs all types of Rock Nation stuff. Then you got the Rock Nation Sports. All of these people is extensions of who you are, and that's how you stay in a hot spot. Your niggas is hot. That's Not it. just you. You? Yeah. you. Your niggas, niggas is hot, hot. And, they all be, and they all building a pyramid of a mountain, and they cool with letting Hov be on top. Why? Because that money come trickling, trickling down, down the pyramid, bro. Non-stop. Facts. Non-stop. you rather that than drive a bus for 10, 20 years. Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen, my father drove a bus. I drove a bus, so too, so I can for, talk. For, for, for um, a little while. What if my people whole like driving did. buses? Huh? Yo, Ghost, right, real shit, I did that for a lot Nobody of years. Likes to drive Nobody a bus. likes driving they'll, that shit. They'll appreciate what the driving the bus nah, will do for in them. In New York, all the bus drivers are angry. In other states, when you go on the bus, <laughs> the niggas be happy. They be like, you know what? Hey, what's you, I'm going to tell you why. That's no cap. That's no cap. You the know bus why? driver be do the cool dude. Don't worry about that. Chair. Let me tell you something. As a dude who lived down south, it's hard finding a job for $10 an hour. So when you get that city job, you are like classified pimp status. Yeah, you are. You can go out to eat. You can have multiple <laughs> women. You can pay your Here bills. You with the Ain't bar. no stress. Every, I'm telling you what it is. It's bras for us, huh? Of course. Yeah, Come yeah, on. Like, I, I ain't going to cap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all about the Now, bras. in New York, when you're doing that job, depending, I've had jobs where I was getting paid $24, $25 an hour, and you claim zero, that still ain't no real money. You know the amount of taxes I was getting taken out my check? This is Bagsfield. They just did a case study. Mm. This is real. This is out. Look it up. $100,000 in New York is equivalent to, to making $36,000 a year. Yes. In another state. Yo. $100,000. Understand that. If you make $100,000 a year, stuff costs so much, in New it's York. like you make thirty-six mm. grand in I, New York. I, I would claim zero just so I wouldn't have to deal with any extra auditing. I wasn't making an exorbitant amount of money. But can I ask you a question? What's up? Now that I, I just brought that up. So when I be saying all these type of things is no money, why you be why, like why you be fighting with me? Because if if a hundred thousand dollars is like thirty six thousand dollars, now y'all understand why he be talking about five. If a hundred thousand dollars is like thirty six grand. Mm-hmm. And I talk about five thousand dollars. That's nothing. Yeah, but what that's I'm a telling... piss cup in in New York. In New York, five thousand dollars is now equivalent to five hundred and fifty eight dollars. But that the scale of it is is still five thousand to what you have to get. So if a hundred, hold on, if a hundred k, if a hundred k is the equivalent of thirty six thousand dollars, right? In New York. In New York, what is so, somebody making five k is no no no. 55, no, 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 I'm listening. So then if a person is making $50,000 in New York. That's like making 18000 
So then five thousand dollars from eighteen thousand dollars is that what? Ain't the same thing, nigga. Yes, it is. No, no, that's, that's not the scale. <laughs> Come on, that's not the scale. That's your and reverse. Also, that's your reverse Brooklyn scale. That's that's <laughs> no. That's not it. But a, a thing about building the team too, I know this, and you've always said this is going out with people, and how important it is to go out and. Somebody brought this to my attention. Think about it. If you only go out to one meeting once a week, right? That's only 52 people you met. 52 contacts. Do you, Forget the, contacts. How about the people that you already know? Mm -hmm. You got to build relationships with them. Think about yes. this. If we wasn't at 4040 for the party for Way Up With Ye, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have saw DT with Clue. Yes. And I wouldn't be on the radio right and now. And think about that relationship was cultivated 15, 15 years, years ago. ago. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. so going out, but yeah. I, I used to go out more back then. But I, I I I wasn't thinking about radio. Now, right now, we work and, and, and do so many things. My going out is when I'm working, when I'm traveling, when I'm doing stuff, right? So if you didn't, she texts you the day of. Mm-hmm. Big Boss Yee, thank you. Yeah, Angela Yee, yes. She texted you the day of and told you about the party. She didn't say nothing about me or Ghost, but everybody knows when they invite one, they invite the other. Yes, so squad we, rough. So we go. It was lit. We wound up staying. We was about to leave. Clue walks in. <laughs> Clue says, come over to this side. This is where the big boss is at. We go over to the big boss. We chilling over there. It's cool. Drinks. Vibing. Lit. Vibing. Unlimited shots. And that's when I get my shot. Yeah. That's from being out amongst the people. If we was home, that would have never happened. But here's the thing, though. I will say, whenever we go places, more so we have an agenda. We're, we're running into individuals, and already the wheels are turning. Mm -hmm. So when you was around the big boss, you already had in your mind. Now, this is years of experience, confidence that's been implemented, you understanding the business, us working as a unit. Mm -hmm. Like, hey... Hi, come over here. I know where to stand. Ghost knows where to stand to play the game, and make and comfortability too is very important. I don't, yo, Han, you put a lot of thought process what? into this stuff. I don't, I don't talk about where to like where, all of that matters. Where to stand and what yes. to do. I'm not. That's not me though. I don't. I know I'm not thinking about where to stand. What are you thinking about? Who would it be? No, none, what are, what are you talking about that, in the in the spot? Yeah, none of that Just, was none of that. The, in, that in the, matters. In the spot was about being in the right place at the right time. Nobody was standing nowhere. We was drinking. They bought the drinks out because Clue is there. I'm freer. Because that's my man. Of course. And he know how I give it up. And whatever he has at that moment in time, I know I personally could have. So if drinks is coming around, I'm getting what I got. And I'm saying, Ghost, you want this? Han, you want this? I just think that it was just a time where people understand that we're putting in a lot of freaking work. Okay? My own friend who is Clue, who is very critical. Like, people think that... People that are cool with you make let you do whatever you want to do. They are even more critical, especially with their legacy and who they are. They're comfortable with where they're at. So for him to come and say to me and say, yo, yo, boy, you working. You everywhere. Keep doing what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. So when we see the boss lady, she recognized like, yo, I'm seeing y'all. Y'all doing work. Mm -hmm. So when we doing work now, we got the chance to now be in her face. Oh, wow, our, our work is right now popping. This is the perfect time. So when we coming in there, not not thinking, if you're thinking that, I'm not thinking that. When I when I go in a place like K-Mac told you from a young age, I'm not conventional. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't. I, if you expected me to come in and and say and do the right thing, no, of course, none of us are conventional. That's I not hate me. That shit. What? I'm not gonna lie to you though. What? I just come in. What do you the hate? way certain people move in rooms like that, like thinking they gotta be over here mm. and do it. I hate. That Sometimes shit, they're man. not comfortable, but you know what the difference with us is? We have each other. Mm -hmm. So even when we're in that room and they was over there, because don't front when we first walked in the room. But I be in rooms room, by myself when too. When we first no, walked no, in that room, you don't care. Room, you don't when care. When we first I, walked I in that room, it was quiet. Yeah, no, for it real. was quiet. Yes, we, we turned up. <laughs> we turned up the room. Were, it was I'm not quiet. gonna lie to you. It was quiet. And I don't like because I don't like the. I don't like that. Yo, I don't we like look that quiet. To the shit. side and we standing and the black chick brings this joint out. She said, "This is the cucumber joint." 
Yo, give me that. I don't. I Where? don't like. The, I don't like the quiet shit. Think and niggas around ghost. me know. And and I I feel like people know that I don't like the quiet shit either. Because even when the Jermaine Dupri party yesterday, I got there and then this is like, oh, space goes like because it's it's like I don't like the quiet shit. Why are y'all doing this? Yeah. Why are y'all acting like y'all above it? Like we here to have fun too. They not. They not there to have yeah, fun. Think man. about they're this. They're there to work. Right? Space goes such a. Ill vibe within himself that when you walked off with Clue to handle business, this young girl rolled up on him. It's like talking business with him, female rapper. And he's just like, mm. she, I don't know what she wanted. Where I just like when people when just go like, oh, yo, you, you literally it. walked off. Where was we at when I walked no, off? No, no, no. You, you walked, walked, on, was on you walked off with Clue. You was on the other side with Clue. We just Jamaica station? No, no, at the uh, 4040. 40. Oh, 4040, 4040. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, when I walked around when I thought I saw yeah. this girl who promised me that I was going to get weed for life for free and I but, didn't but get it. But a lot of people come in these spaces and they're uncomfortable because they're, it's a, there's a lot of people, money in the room. No, yeah. funny. There's a lot of famous people in the room. And people don't know what to do. Like, they're just I like, fucking love whatever. That. I, I love that I, shit. I thrive you like that. that? You what? All three of us like love it. that shit. Ghost. Ghost. Ghost, you can't. Organically. Like, just chill. Like, just chill. Ghost just said a cocktail party with some shit. I'm going in that motherfucker to but turn me, that motherfucker out. But, but here's out. the thing. Like, Alchemist just had an album release and we was the day before. So me and Al I'm joking with him. Like, all right, who has the better release party? Who has the better release party? You <laughs> see? Like, that's what I'm joking to him about. So <laughs> I don't really, like, see it in that way. They, yo, listen. They, it's a money thing. Once they get to a certain space and a certain thing, that's how they feel. The more money we make, it doesn't always change you. It changes the people around you. Yeah. And sometimes you have to adjust. They're not going to be able to adjust and adjust back and adjust back and adjust back. <laughs> Once they adjust to a certain way, that's how that's how yeah. they move. Yeah. And, and it, it, yo, and I understand where you're coming from, Ghost, but... It, Coming, coming from the standpoint of knowing it, it keeps you safe, mm. and that's where and that's where you want to be at in your own safe space. Like no matter what goes down, I'm good right here. I probably could do a little bit more, yeah. but if I stay right here, I'm 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 in a safe space here, no problems. Yeah, because you know people always say shit get weirder the higher you go up. Things get more uncomfortable the higher you go up. There's a different level of. I don't think so though. Because I see the people who go up, I, and it's, it's everybody people around them weird. that act people, weird. Yeah, they, that's what the people around me is getting weird. Yes. Yo, they, yo, they're getting weird. <laughs> and 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 then see, <laughs> see and see and see. And, and, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm keeping it real. Yo. And and them niggas know me. So yeah. when it be happening, I'll be like, yo, My, I like I break north and be like, yo, bro, like you know, it's still I'm still the kid, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, all this. And this stuff that's yeah. going on, I love it. I appreciate it. But you understand that this ain't changing the kid. I've been getting, yo, I was getting way more money. I'm not gonna lie to you. People now. do get weird because somebody told me the other day. I'm like, yo, you you, know, you remember who you talking <laughs> to? Like, why are you talking to me you like, like that? Like that, yo, bro. Do you remember who? Like, we we known each other we for each fucking other for years, 20, 30 bro. years. Yo, yeah. bro, it's weird, bro. You, and they, yeah, I, 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 call, I call Clue and I say, yo. I call him, I say, yo, I understand DJ Clue, you're my best friend, and I understand you a whole lot better now. Think because about this. I used to be on his head, pause about it. Yo, why you acting like that? I get yeah. it. Yeah, and think about it. Yo, out of all the people in this room, I've adopted 70 new family members out of nowhere. Just, What? He'll tell you. He got mad new family members. What? And they're really legitimately like they not related. Cut no checks, man. Like y'all yeah. got y'all got companies and all that. If y'all really family, yo, B. See, he not like me. I would be on y'all head every day, like, yo, we family, right? What's up with the bread? Yeah, everybody. Cut the check. Everybody in my family does something extravagant. Sponsor my show. Don't you need marketing? Don't you need promotion? I ain't gonna hold you. Even the the person. That had the worst outcome. I think she has four kids with three baby daddies. She figured that shit out. Figure what out? Life. Uh -huh. She's actually doing well. How? I don't know. Listen, we need a sponsor from yo his family. Y'all got the vodka company and all that. We want a sponsor for our show. All right, that's our next step. I don't have a sponsor. People calling, but they being real cheap. You know what I'm saying? As you can How tell, cheap are they being? As you can tell by the clips that he talks about me, I don't really 
rock with cheap. So if you're in my DM and you're not talking about some real money, don't bother. But we are looking for somebody who wants to sponsor our show. We get wild hits. You said like two million on 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 low end scale. <laughs> Think about the repost, ten million. You want pages that we on on the same joint with a hundred thousand hits just on 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 they one post. Please, we out of here with it. Sponsor it. Send the logo. Send the money. We ready. Woo. Bag fuel. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you like. Send a super thanks. Super thanks and all that. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. The, uh, fake streams <laughs> are being are being found. Of, uh, yeah. By Spotify. Okay. They're looking into. They're looking into cleaning up the fake stream and shit. Okay. Yes. So, oh, are, my question: is, Are people getting paid on the fake streams? Yes. Yeah, let's, yes, let's, it's well, let's big see. business. Okay. Spotify, Deezer, and Cubas or whatever. I guess those are all people that link in with the streams. Mm-hmm. And streams. Clock streams. Clock streams. They collected data. 1% to 3% of the country's total streams are fake. Are, were fake. That's a lot. That account, it's higher that, than that. That counts to 500 million global rev, revenue loss. Yeah. Five hundred million dollars, a one, million dollars. one to three percent. It's so lying. Think about how much? Lying. One to three it's high. percent. Let me tell you something. No, one to three percent was found. Found and that? Oh, yeah, I found. heard you wrong. And that, yeah, no, that, that's just what they. That's just that's <laughs> what, what it found. says. Is that that was just fraud. That's not the equi- They don't know. It could be way more. But than what that. they could way from, more, it's from way what more. they could prove and what they found. One to three percent. So and that is five hundred million global so revenue. I can loss. pay somebody to get me streams, and I'm gonna get paid on those streams too. Here's how it is: somebody sends you an he email. Said according to the show, according to the, the report, call me. According to the report, they've been doing it for years. According to the report, more than eighty percent of fraudulent activity takes place within France. Wow. That's probably the streaming farm. Did you say 80% in France? Yeah. The streaming farm. Yo, somebody in France, you got to follow and call me. <laughs> but it's, Let's it's, get money, France. More, they, so they have certain techniques and they, they basically found France. So I guess the one France has the farm. It's just France. France. So they don't know about other countries France, yet. y'all can DM me because y'all about y'all money. Hit me up, yeah, France. Uh, Let's get money together. This has been going on for at least 12 years, bro. Well, uh, bro, bro, I'm, you it's, know, it's simple. you know, this whole content thing is three years old with me, so you no, know what No, but I'm what saying? it is is... I'm getting on it right the, now. The number one thing, whenever you go into a business or a company and you're trying to negotiate or get deals is the first thing, analytics. What's your views like? What's your numbers like? So they, so they said they figured this out because it wasn't more so to maximize their royalties, but it was trying to move artists up the charts. No, like, it's not. No, that's how they detected this. Oh, that's how they detected it. Because gotcha. they were trying to move their artists up the charts. Gotcha. So they so faked the, the streams, streams. Yeah. to try to move them up that's the so point. they could, get, you know... So, yeah, because then the views. So what you want to know? What, what you think about that? Ghost? Because if you, because they said if you move it up the charts, it boosts their visibility, Billy up, which their gets money. their PR access to radio play. That's how they were using it. That's it. That thing called radio play that nobody needs is irrelevant. <laughs> The same thing called radio play that my guy goes tells me that is irrelevant right now that you don't need. They're doing all of this streaming and all of this stuff to go what? To get radio play? But do you know why it's relevant? Because that's where the money's at. But numbers. I understand yeah. where Ghost I understand. Let's 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 be real. Like, Ghost has a lot of Ghost and Heineken have a lot of reasons why. Radio would be less effective or not needed, and I agree with them. But when the money and commercial is revolved around there, that's where people want to be at because that's how you're going to get paid. That's another payday. And if you if you really understand me as being a music business person, born and raised into this business, my number one thing to you, which I said to you, I think it was yesterday, is we need more than one revenue stream, right? Mm-hmm. So why am I just gonna focus on, on streaming, streaming numbers? I need streaming numbers. I need the every time that you spend on radio, that's five dollars a spend. I want that too. Mm-hmm. I want everything. This is all of my pot. You know I'm who's, not letting you know that pot go. So I just I just read this, but you know who's 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 with this and who's spearheading this? Who? Yes, the record labels. The person at a label, very big, the biggest, Jimmy Iovine. No, um, um, Lucian, Lucian Grains. Yes. yes, that means Grains. this money's been affected. 
Lucian Grange. That makes sense. Lucian Grange. Which is funny because one of his artists or his son's artists was known for boosting up their numbers. The, the, the irony and, and the hypocrisy. <laughs> you know, you're offended by the same tactics your son allegedly used. No, because it's... That, you, it's you, you the, see, the see, usually he makes me say it. <laughs> and people, usually, see, now I'm feeling this right now because normally he's just like, you know what he normally does? He says, well, Esso, why do you think that is? Finally, he comes out and so he knows it. He knows it. It's not just me. He knows it, too. That's why he said everything. He, he spit it out. Thank you. You know, one of my pet peeves is hypocrisy. How many times we go back and forth and you'd be like, you being hypocrite. Bro, say yeah. everything, yo, bro. Finish out no, the Because show, that's bro. crazy, Lucian. Your yo, son, guy, your bro. son, Finish your son's show, artist bro. called eight number one hits in a row. And we found out those numbers were manufactured in a strategic way. And now it's a problem. That means all the other artists he can't control, he's losing our money on. The same system your family benefited from, now it's biting you in the ass. Come on, bro. Backfield. 